Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, amen. This is Kathy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, y'all. This is the OUTG Radio Morning Show. We got music for you. We got an altar call in five minutes. And we got now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. For this uh, February 21st, 2013, yes, it is 6.01 in the a.m. For God's so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. Amen. And Jesus said unto them, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believes. God is so awesome, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. And he says, I, even I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and remembers your sins no more. Oh, wait, look. Can you count the sins that you may have committed yesterday? <laughs> Last night? Uh, uh, I can. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving all my sins. <laughs> now, Kathy, what do you be doing on a daily basis that you sin and live in? Simply living, you can do it. You can commit a sin. Remember, sins are not just actions, it's things in the mind. It's like, man, I would sure love to pop that dude in the face. Why? I don't like the way he looked. <laughs> or like uh, Steve Harvey had some people on TV yesterday, and um, one dude dropped down to his drawers. It was uh, called the sexiest uh, men, sexiest husbands alive, and the wives were there. And they had to show off their biceps and, you know, their, uh, their, their six-packs. Now, you never would have thought that the shortest dude there had the most six-packs. He he looked like a little a, a bodybuilder. Like, pow, 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 pow. He had to be like maybe five, six, five, seven. He was short compared to the other ones. The other ones were like over six feet. But he had more abs, more muscles. I mean, they all had biceps, but... uh. He had them abs working and them thighs, pow, 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 bam, looking like a runner or something. Anyway, so, did I lust? I looked for a long time. I was like, whoa. <laughs> and I thought to myself, girl, if that was mine, ain't no way I'd be showing that off. Uh-uh, uh-uh, can't nobody see that but me, uh-uh. So there you go. Uh, I had to repent. <laughs> All right, so uh, good morning, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. We hear from you, Lord God, and are led by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill our lives and surround us with your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your order, the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you for our comfort of the Holy Spirit who leads us into all righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for... You are hope. We should keep your word in our hearts and minds. We should love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for every mountain is moved and every close of block good that is hindered. The preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. We are healed in our bodies and minds. Any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now. The hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. For you, Lord Jehovah, our husband, made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Jesus' good pleasure is our good pleasure. Our spirits and bodies are not dumping grounds. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We are the beloved, believing you love us and receiving your love. Not subject to temptation, submitting to your will. 
receiving your blessing in the name of your risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Uh, for we always have more than enough all the time. The kingdom of heaven, excuse me, for the, the kingdom of heaven is, uh, the kingdom of God is manifested in the earth among the redeemed people of God. God's people ask for his wisdom and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people have assured dwellings in quiet resting places. God's people are the created and matter in the earth. God's people light shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God. Jehovah our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God's people are made to live according to God's will the one man cannot see. If God be for his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not take the attitude of defeat. Those who accept defeat do not know who they are, nor their position in the kingdom of heaven. We, the people of God, are the heads and not the tails. Yes, amen, amen, amen. Above and not beneath, going forward and not backwards. The beloved and the sign of God, we count on all joy when we go up against the giant. We ask God for wisdom and receive it abundantly, standing on the word of the kingdom. For all things, we as God's people stand on the word of God. And all we believe lines up with the word of God by his divine righteous order. God brings us his people health and healing and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. God brings us his people health and healing and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but by love and honor. In the name of God's risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Most assuredly, Jesus said to his disciples, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Amen. Jesus loves him some you. He really, really, really does. And, um, oh, just to let you know, the guy that won the contest list today on Steve Harvey, was not the one with the muscles because they had some six foot dudes with some muscles that you know how when a man is so tall he has that long torso and, and those muscles just go pop 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 they do all that and then they have the biceps bam bam <laughs> they had some nice looking dudes up there with all those muscles but the ladies in the audience they chose the one with the least amount of muscles. He had, truly, he had the least amount of muscle, and he was holding his stomach in. So he's a little chunky, but he he was you know medium built, not a whole lot of muscles. Looked like he may have just started working out or something. Uh, but he was the stay at home dad. Uh, he was the one that uh, just supported his wife and just absolutely loved her. And he was he was just a no. Actually, no, he was not a stay at home dad. He was a working dad. He was a dad that um. Um, except that he married a woman that already had a child by another man and he received her as she were as her you know he received her and the child and I guess he adopted her because he calls the uh, oldest daughter which is another man's daughter his daughter and the women just fell head over heels for that so he won because of that so I'm just saying uh, gentlemen don't shoplift the poo nanny marry it that's all all right, y'all, we got music for you. Here we go. God Got a Plan for You by J. Penn. You gotta do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate your call. Don't give up. God got a plan for you. All you gotta do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate your call. Man, I've been on the road that you on. If I gave up, I would have been long gone. See, God got a plan for you. If you give him a chance, and you'll see it too. I know you're tired of the games and tricks, but it ain't nothing that my Jesus can't fix. Ain't no love like from Father God. Break away from the devil, he still kills and robs. Don't you want to know your purpose, bro? And what you got to go through these things for? You should be thankful. You 
you still breathe, and even that has meaning. If you do this, how it affects your family, your baby, your mama, your favorite aunt and granny. You ain't gotta show me that you got guts. Just put the knife away and just listen up. Don't give up, God got a plan for you. All you gotta do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate your call. Don't give up, God got a plan for you. All you gotta do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate in your call. Man, I'll be in on the road that you own. Wearing them colors, pack a big old chrome. But that ain't no way to live. You either wind up dead or doing a bid. You might think that your boys got your back. Catch a murder rap, and they forgot all that. And as a matter of fact, God can even fix that. You play the hard role, but you can stop all that. Cause the cats around the corner ain't cut no slack. If you follow me, I show you what Jesus said. He'll break those chains off of your mind. You gotta make a decision, you're running out of time. Open up your eyes and see it for what it is. I had homies get shot up at their crib. It's more to life than just guns and ammo. So I live every day. Hey, taking the gamble. Don't give up. God got a plan for you. All you gotta do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate your call. Don't give up. God got a plan for you. All you gotta do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate your call. Man, I'm being on the road that you own. Standing on the corner, rolling them stones. Fast money ain't the way to go. If you wind up in the jail cell, your time moves slow. God can supply all that you need from your car, crib, to the shoes on your feet. But you gotta give up the sin. Kick it out and let Christ flow in. I'm not saying that life is easy, but walking with Jesus makes it really breezy. I put my cares on him and my faith, homeboy, it never runs thin. Just confess that you'll turn it all over. And become one of God's great soldiers And his will for your life shall manifest I'll walk with you through it and do my best Don't give up, God got a plan for you All you gotta do is what he said do His love will cover it all Turn away from the sin and operate your call Don't give up, God got a plan for you All you gotta do is what he said do His love will cover it all Turn away from the sin and operate your call the sound of your voice. He loves it when you tell him how great he is. Come on. sounds
If you hadn't shown me the way, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Master. God be all the glory, the honor, the power, and the praise. You guys know um, that Jesus loves you, right? You know how when you see something, uh, whether it's good or icky, you go looking for that thing just to make sure. If it's icky, you, you look for it to make sure that it's not there anymore, that it's not going to crop up. And if it's something good, you look for it because you want it again. It's kind of like, um, I don't know double fudge ice cream or something or <laughs> or in my case uh um you know those those uh silverfish bugs that if you live in the suburbs you may have a bout or two with silverfish uh, they seem to crawl in through the uh cracks in the windows like you know the borders around the windows if they're not sealed tight they'll crawl in so I live in this complex and these uh, silverfish, silverfish seem to crawl in quite often. I have the people come and spray and whatnot. And, uh, I mean, it, it's gotten definitely much better. But every now and then I'll, I'll see one. And it's also probably because um, sometimes the lady next door lets her dog pee up under the window. 
And uh, urine, <laughs> urine causes all kinds of things to happen. I know when she was doing it in the summer, we had so many flies and so many bugs up under the window. I thought the dude downstairs was peeing out the window until I caught her letting her dog pee up under my window. Now she lives right next door. So I'm thinking, why don't you let him pee under your window? <laughs> Here it is. I'm hacking and coughing. I'm like, what is that smell? And I'm searching for the smell. I'm washing the screens. I ain't know what was going on. I'm spraying and spraying. I even called the apartment complex. Is the dude downstairs pouring pee out the window? Because I'm like, I'm telling you, it smells like human waste. I was like, it smells like poop and doo-doo and something old and foul. And it was. Her dog's poo and pee. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a little cute dog where it go tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. There was a big rough dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like a Doberman dog. <laughs> so, I go searching. And it, since I found her doing that, you know, I had to tell them. And I guess they told her not to do it. But every now and then, whenever I see somebody walking a dog, I'm like, dude, go to the dog park. Why you got to be putting that right here? <laughs> I be watching them like, don't do it, don't do it. So we we often do that even when it comes to sin and salvation. When we get saved, we, we always go looking for that very first uh, feeling and emotion that we had when we got saved. And, um, and we also look out for sin because we don't want to fall into that sin again. And Jesus is there, and that's why he sent the Holy Spirit to guide us in the right way to go. So all we got to do is really just listen tightly and listen closely to the Lord. And he'll guide us in the way to go there so we don't fall into the same pit, pits that we fell in before, before we got saved. And so that he, he'll guide us around the enemy and um, keep us saved, keep us in faith. But we have, we have to choose to follow the Lord. Amen. So... I said all that to say that Jesus loves you, and uh, sometimes you got to do a little research. And I did apologize for saying the dude downstairs might have did it. Because when you live in the city, you see all sorts of things because I'm from the city. So <laughs> I was like, man, you have got to be kidding me. No way. So it wasn't a dude. It was a dog. But um, God God uh, led me to, he found, he'll, I, I even prayed about it, I was like, Lord, tell me the truth, because I don't believe the dude pouring his stuff out the window, but, you know, it smells like a duck, so it's, you know what I'm saying, quacking, but uh, <laughs> God showed me, no, it ain't him, it's her, so, uh, <laughs> and anyway, Jesus wants to be the Lord of your life, and he wants you to search after him, and the fact that you're listening to this, and, um, uh, that you've been questioning and, and seeking, uh, you've been seeking love, love that has no conditions, and that's Jesus, unconditional love. So I invite you to receive him into your heart, repeat this prayer confession after me. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for me. Lord, I forgive all those who have trespassed against me. Thank you, Jesus, for redeeming me of my sins. I receive you into my heart, Lord, as my Savior and Lord of my life. From this day forward, I give my life to you, Jesus. Direct me in all my ways and keep me on your righteous path. I have faith in your blood, Jesus, and in Jehovah God, our Father in heaven. Set me in the atmosphere of learning in a Bible-based church where the Holy Spirit dwells. In your name, Jesus, thank you. Amen. 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 To God be all the glory, the honor, the power, the praise. Lord, I just uh, thank you. And uh, everybody, go to facebook.com forward slash LUTG Radio 247. Click on the link, find a church, get baptized with water, baptized in the Holy Spirit, and um, read your Bible, uh, Book of John, Chapter 1, and uh, your prayer temple is the book of Matthew, Chapter 6, Verse 7 through 13. Follow me to the next segment, which is My Peace, and that'll be coming up in about five minutes. I thank you so much for hanging out with me and sticking with me. This is Kathy for LUTG Radio.